How did King Tut die? Scientists have joined together to solve the 3,000-year-old mystery. The death of the young pharaoh Tutankhamun in 1324 BC has puzzled researchers for nearly a century. Was he murdered, poisoned, or did he have a disease? In February, an interdisciplinary team of scientists published the answer in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Combining advanced research methods found in genetics, anthropology, and radiology, scientists studied King Tut's remains along with those of ten other mummies from his royal family, including his mother, father, and paternal grandparents. The researchers identified diseases and genetic disorders in Tut's DNA, and they then correlated the results with archaeological evidence and the historical record. What did the archaeological CSI team discover? Not murder, but rather an unlucky combination of malaria and bone deformities that led to a fatal broken leg. Discovering the presence of genetic disorders in Tut's genes along with walking canes and an afterlife pharmacy buried in his tomb allowed researchers to be certain of his cause of death. One 3,000-year-old unsolved case is closed, but scientists forge ahead. The causes of death of other mummies in the study remain a mystery.